In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the best safe block drop settings after the patch so you guys still get high and max FPS and some lower ping. We'll cover what changed, the exact things you should copy, what to avoid so your game does not break, and you guys also get results at the end. Let me show you guys the best core settings that you guys should be using for block shop. So first, we're actually going to be opening up our block shop. As you guys open up block shop, you're going to see configure settings here. We're going to click configure settings. Now, when you guys first get in here, make sure you guys actually downgrade your version to 2.9. 9.1 link will be in the description to downgrade in my discord server there's going to be an inventory category and there's a block shop channel and then you're going to see how to use fast legs with block shop now it's a video i posted like literally literally kind of around before where fast legs got deleted on how to use a method it kind of works it doesn't work really anymore but it's kind of fun uh we got the block shop download now this is the one you're going to be downloading in the description so make sure you guys download that after you guys download it you guys want to go to bootstrapper and make sure background updates are on so make sure this is off so it doesn't keep going back back every single time so then what we're gonna actually go do is to go to engine settings okay when you go to engine settings now all you guys need to do you want to go to anti analysis and quality you guys want to put this to one time server player shadows you guys want to turn this on saber post processing effects we're going to turn this on disable terrain textures we're going to turn this on frame limit this is kind of optional if you're on like a really low end pc and you're trying to get the max frames possible then you guys should just put 99999 but if you guys are on like a mid tier or any tier higher you guys want to just happen to your monitor's refresh rate switch up display if you guys do not know where your monitor's refresh rate is go to change the resolution of display you guys want to scroll down until you see advanced display settings open that up and then you guys will actually see right here refresh rate okay so yeah after that i was 165 so i normally would cap it to 170 but it's fine we're gonna go to rendering mode now direct 3d 10 and direct 3d 11 some people say 11 works best because it's a newer version has less bugs but me personally i work best on direct 3d 10 now i don't know about you guys but you guys can actually try out both of these and see which one gives you a better difference i'm actually going to click direct 3d 10 in this instance and then texture quality now this is the main place where we kind of get all of our fps at so we're actually going to put this on the level zero the lowest quality so we guys can get the highest fps possible so we get zero ping delays and everything but level zero and then after that there's nothing really else down here we have fast flag editor but the only flags that would work in here is the one ones from the client settings sadly and if you guys actually do want fast flex that you guys want to use you want to go to my discord server or you guys can search it up it's just going to be the allow list fast flex okay these are all the fast flex that work only sadly these are the only ones left and the way that they actually work is with the fish trap method now with this fish trap method you guys can actually use the, the fast flex even though this video is around november 18th i actually just used them in my last one of my last videos so that's actually good before we get back to the video are you guys tired of having bad ping in any game you guys play i want to introduce you guys to exit lag okay exit lag is actually going to lower your ping and actually give you guys a little bit of an fps boost also it's real-time optimizations as multi-internet fps boost traffic shaper it's anything you name in every game you play you can really customize your whole gaming experience and it automatically optimizes your connection custom settings for hardcore gamers there's a desktop account that only also works for mobile and support team is always ready to help you guys so yeah back to block shop now so right here user interface and layout this really doesn't do anything now disable faulty screen title bar that's just when your mouse goes to the top of your screen and that thing pops up that like ui enable ability to hide guis so block shop has its own type of keyboard shortcuts that you guys can be using if you guys want to hide your roblox ui so if you click keyboard shortcuts it's actually going to take you guys a guide to fast legs it's going to take you guys to this and then you guys i think you just want to search for i guess it's so the option we're looking for is ability to hide uis so i think we would just search up key maybe key shortcuts or i guess hide i guess they didn't really search up but you guys can actually just probably search up or find a video on how to actually find the block shop keys so yeah after that we are literally just going to do all these settings and click save now joining back up in fast flake tester as you guys can see my texture quality is low okay now it's not working at all now guys you guys can already see okay even this guy's avatar bro is bad quality bad quality the lights is going to be working because we are not using any fast flags right now so guys your particles will be having low textures everything should be working good if you guys actually look at my fps now we're just touching 240 it's not even moving at any any rates terrain is looking all right okay now the terrain normally does change around when we used to use fast flags a lot terrain would always change around in so many ways possible that i can't even explain i used to use so many terrain combos on this game that i don't even know how they even work looking at our 
texture blocks now they kind of look the same to be honest because the flags are gone once again now if the block shift settings are not working for you guys and you guys are not getting your low texture clothes as i am right here one thing you guys do need to just try over right now is literally just download fish trap okay fish trap actually works fine block shop has too many issues right now because it's trying to upgrade and downgrade and it's just going all over the place and it's kind of hard for me to fully explain it into words if you guys want a video on that let me know but please go try out fish trap with these because fish trap will work better instead of block shop if you guys are having issues though now, let me actually just go over what changed real quick bro like since like late 2025 okay around these times roblox only lets a limited list of fast flags okay to, to play on the client so that means most old copy and paste flag pass bro they don't even work anymore like i remember all my old ones they don't work anymore block shop even removed a bunch of engine presets and disabled player shadows and disabled post processing effects just because roblox blocks flags now so if you, if you found an old tutorial then it's probably like not gonna do anything anymore but like basically all the block shop videos are kind of useless now guys block shop is still a roblox launcher that just gives you extra control on how the client runs and everything it, it gave you engine settings themes safe fast flags bro and it's just in newer versions block shop only allows you to apply when you hit the save button and there's nothing really into it anymore like there's just nothing and it's actually kind of crazy how just roblox bro like they don't care about optimizing their client in any sort of way bro like they don't want to add any sort of more presets to the graphics options for us to get higher fps they don't want to add this they don't want to add that bro they don't want to help us at all bro but hopefully it does all get fixed soon because roblox bro i don't even know how they're gonna optimize their game fully i don't even know if they're gonna optimize anything anymore bro like you guys might have to get fps boost through optimizations and just everything else except fast flags and block shop because it lasted well it lasted a long time while well, it lasted and it was good now that it's gone it's kind of crazy bro and it was actually a long time for us to actually have these like we had fast flags for almost like i think almost two or two years at least but it felt like more I've been posting fast flags for a really long time. If you guys are new here, if you guys do already know me, I've been posting flags for almost a year now, basically. And uh, yeah, am I still going to be making videos on this? Probably. Probably still talking about it until they fully delete it. But we're actually going to see what's going on. So I really do hope you guys understand what is going on. If you guys have any single questions, you can ask me on my Discord server or just email me up. Anything is fine. But hopefully you did get the maximum FPS possible from this tutorial. I hope you guys like and subscribe. So yeah, that's actually going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy today's video hope you guys made it this way if you guys actually made it this long way comment down the word chicken wings if you guys made it this long so i could actually see who's a loyal fan watching my videos through all, all the way long-term dedication bro and when you put down chicken wings in the comments i'm actually gonna reply to you bro i'm gonna give you a hug too so yeah see you guys in the next one peace peace peace